on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to look at the concavity of a function that has exponentials in it, and this is part one where we will focus on finding the second derivative and setting it equal to zero. In part two, we will look at the actual intervals of concavity, as well as looking at some inflection points if we have them. Before watching this video, I recommend that you do check out how to find the first derivative. We've also talked about the critical values in a recent video too. So, you know, step by step, we had the same function. We found its derivative. We found the critical values. We found intervals of increasing and decreasing. And now we're going to talk about the second derivative, which revolves around concavity. Therefore, when we have concavity, you want to think about the second derivative. And then we want to set it equal to zero. We already have the first derivative from previous videos, so let's go ahead and focus on the second derivative, g double prime of x. We have this function times this function, and this was our first derivative, so let's apply the product rule to find the second derivative. The product rule, we can leave this function alone, so we have e to the 2 minus 1 half x, and we multiply by the derivative of this function. The derivative of this function is negative 1 half, so again here, we left this function alone and we multiplied by the derivative of this function. Now we add on, we reverse this. We now take the derivative of this function, well the derivative of e to that stuff is e to that stuff. Do not forget your chain rule though. We have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent, that's going to be negative one half. And then we leave this function alone, that is the product rule. So let's recap on that one more time before we move forward. We left this function alone. We multiplied by the derivative of that piece right here to get that. And then we reverse it around. Plus, we take the derivative of that exponential, making sure we apply the chain rule. And then we leave this function alone right here. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. If we look at this term here and this term here, the two pieces to our product rule, we can factor out a negative one half. And we can also factor out e to that stuff because notice we do have e to that stuff over here. So think of this as a greatest common factor. We're factoring out the negative one half and e to that stuff from this term. That leaves us with an understood one when we factor out that greatest common factor here from this stuff. And now when we factor out the negative one half and e to that stuff, we're pulling these two pieces out. We are left with that part right there. So we have plus one minus one half x. And one quick step here is to combine like terms. And now we're ready to set this thing equal to zero. Setting this second derivative equal to zero, since we have a product of two factors, we can set each factor equal to zero. And when we set this factor here equal to zero, this is impossible. Negative one half times e to any power will never equal zero because it's impossible for e to any power, whether it be positive or negative, e to any power will never equal zero. So therefore, there's no need to worry about that one right there. However, there's a different story for this one over here. Let's multiply everything by two to get rid of our denominator. So we have four minus x equals zero. We still get zero over here when we multiply by two. And let's just move this x over here to this side by adding. So therefore, we have four equals x. This is the spot when x is four, we're probably gonna have an inflection point. And in part two of this, we will look at that and we will determine, you know, is it concaving up or concaving down on both sides of X? And recall, if our concavity changes, we do have an inflection point. But more on that in part two. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.